All right, got my Airlift 5000 suspension uh, for my Toyota Tundra and then start installing it. We'll see what we got inside the box. All right, got the new airbags, the top plate, and it's got four holes, two for the right side of the truck, two for the left side of the truck, and then the airline that will screw in after we put it all together. And the same with the bottom bracket. We got two holes for the left, two holes for the right. And you just do opposite when you build the left one, then you build the right one. All right, next thing I want to do is put on the roll plate, line up the holes, and then put the bottom bracket on, line up the holes, and the lip goes to the back. This is the front of the truck, or the side of the truck that's inside the bed. And then on the other side, airbag, you do the complete opposite. All right, so you want to torque all the bolts down to 20 foot-pounds, put the airline in, do hand tight, and then tighten it one and a quarter turns around. And don't do it too tight, so it'll strip it out. And then do the same thing on the other side. All right, got them all assembled, torqued down to 20 foot-pounds, and then you kind of see the whole patterns are backwards from left to right. And I went ahead and scratched in left on the paint here, so I know where I'm going. All right, so you want to lift up the truck from the frame up front and not from the axle. That way you get enough clearance to be able to test fit this guy in there. All right, next step after removing the tire is gonna cut this down to three quarter inch. Um, you don't wanna remove the plate because the plate actually holds the U-bolts in place. So get a sawzall and chop it down to about three quarters inch. All right, so once you got the bump stop uh, cut down, you wanna put the whole contraption over it just to make sure it fits and doesn't hit and you're also going to need to bend the bracket for the brake line over so that this doesn't hit so be real careful with that just bend it out of the way and then start putting it together and put it in and this air line goes right through this little hole up on top here so when you line it up perfectly you got to be really careful not to bend or break that part right there Alright, so we got it all mounted and bolted in. Um, what I did is put the bottom two on first, nice and loose. And then when you line this back up so the air nozzle goes through the hole in the frame without breaking it. And once it's in there, you can go ahead and put the top clamps on. There's matching ones on the back. It goes over the frame and over the bracket here. And then snug it all down to 20 foot-pounds and uh, it's good to go. Now I'm going to run the airline and then uh, go do the other side. So. Not so bad. All in all, the whole project may take about an hour. All right, got both airbags installed. I ended up putting uh, both air inlets on each side of the license plate to be able to fill up the air um, for left and right. Since so far, it's working great. What I do beforehand is, uh, before I load the trailer, I measure the distance between the wheel well and the tire so I know at stock where the truck rides. And then I charge up um, both left and right uh, make sure they're both accurate by the same PSI and I prefer putting too much air in to start with put the trailer on and Latin air out rather than uh, put more air in after the trailer is installed it's a little easier and you don't have to hook up the pump and everything you just let air out on each side and keep checking the PSI to make sure they're even uh, so far it's working great any comments or questions leave them below and I'll answer them when I can thanks guys bye